I mean, statistically, you could say that a shark attack is a lot, a lot larger than one in a million. Um, I think there's also every three days there's a million sharks being killed for their fins, um, and every day there's not a shark attack. I think those numbers just say alone how lopsided the conversation is about shark attacks and about the health of sharks in our oceans. Mike Coots is a local surfer, photographer, and a shark ambassador from Kilauea, Kauai. I became an advocate for sharks uh, basically in one hour. I was watching a YouTube video called Shark Water by Rob Stewart, and I was completely blown away by what we were doing to sharks. There was a number that came on the on the video, uh, it was about halfway through, and it said 70 to 100 million sharks a year are killed for their fins for shark fin soup. And I, I saw that figure and I did like five rewinds. I was like, this can't be right. This number is absolutely insane. Um, and I'm not a scientist. I haven't studied really science in college, but just that number alone, you know that's that can't be healthy for our waters. He has used his passion for sharks to protect them. I have a pretty active social media platform. I try to get the word out that sharks aren't these sort of uh, killers that just will attack anything. I've uh, used the irony of my situation to be able to get into policymakers' doors. I've spoken to Congress, I've spoken to the United Nations, I've helped draft legislature here in Hawaii with our state senators. The irony Mike is referring to lies beneath an event that happens to one in a million people. Well, actually, one in 11 million people. I remember like, as soon as my fingertips brushed the surface of the water, a large tiger shark came up from underneath me and grabbed onto my legs. I knew I was getting attacked by a shark because I could, I was, I could see it right in my chest. And I tried um, taking my right hand and, and out of instinct, I don't just, I tried getting my legs out of its mouth and that didn't work. And it started doing this real slow motion swaying back and forth. And I remember immense pressure on my legs. And with my left hand, I just started punching it in the head a couple times. And I think I hit it a good three times in the snout and uh, it let go and release its grip on my legs. He hasn't let his disability bring him down and always looks to the positive side of things. Losing my leg to a shark has definitely changed my life. Uh, it's, it's changed it for the better. Um, I've brought me incredible experiences. I've been able to travel places, meet amazing people, do things I don't think I would have done otherwise. It's also made life more challenging. Um, that's the honest truth, just day in and day out with a prosthetic leg. Um, it's, a little, it's a little bit more difficult, but you just learn to adapt. And things that you think you can't do and you can do it with your prosthetic and you realize you can do, um, it's pretty rewarding and fulfilling. And you sort of build on these little challenges and after a while it sort of defines who you are and you really think there's nothing you can't do. Mike Coots is truly unique. Through using his disability, he has helped save the very thing that took his leg. This is Gabriel Goh from Chief Kamakahele Middle School for Hikino.